firstly, the, the, the broader trends that you're seeing right now when it does come to PE in sport? Because, you know, everyone was thinking that the economy around the world was going to go to absolute cactus, but we have seen a lot of money still coming into sports. So in terms of how you've had to, uh, I suppose, uh, uh, adapt your investing strategy, have you seen that you you've have to go on a little bit over the top when you're investing right now in terms of valuations? Or is it, is it something that you're not necessarily worried too much about right now? No, it's actually a really interesting point. So what we've seen lately is real compression on valuations in sports and sports tech businesses and actually now is a really good time to invest. Um, there's not many lofty valuations out there um, that, that we're seeing. So in particular, probably specifically in sports tech sector, uh, we're seeing a lot of uh, great businesses with good revenue profile, great growth, and the founders are outstanding and the valuations aren't as steep as what they were a couple of years ago. So from our point of view, it's a great time to be getting into the market. And can I ask you, because, you know, a lot of attention gets placed on, you know, the, the headline deals. We're talking about, you know, that the franchises, particularly in the US and in Europe, that are changing hands in terms of the billions. But it, is it underrepresented some of the, the back-end services that are, I suppose, nascent right now in terms of data analytics, in terms of, you know, in innovation as a service as you're looking to get into in the sporting field as well? Yeah, I think there's some interesting paradigm where you've got um, really well-established um, leagues and rights holders or, or professional clubs that are at a premium, but the rest of the market, that certainly isn't the case. Um, but what I guess you've seen historically in sport, um, A, it's an interesting sector because people have passion and they're emotionally attached to it. And when it's done really, really well, there's huge leverage in the business model under, underneath that. Um, and so that's probably why there are some dislocations on valuations at the very high end, but from what we're seeing in the middle market to certainly in scale-up sort of place that we're playing, we're playing in in the sports tech sector, we're seeing a lot of realistic valuations and good opportunity to invest. And, and can I ask you about some of the, the companies that you do invest in, particularly if we're talking about, you know, within the, the Australian context as well? Is there an underrepresentation? Because, you know, if you're looking at the United States, obviously it's a huge market. Europe, obviously it's a huge market for sport. But in Australia, it almost seems a little bit tilted. The amount of money that's swirling around in terms of parents and their kids and, you know, trying to get them involved in sport and then for the, the top tiers as well. Is that, a, is, that a, is that a big opportunity that people aren't necessarily paying enough attention to? I think from our perspective, Australia as a, as a sports sector, full stop, is incredibly competitive. Uh, Australia are a lover of sports, really passionate <laughs> sports followers. And, you know, just in, in my code in rugby, you've got, you know, AFL, which is almost close to one of the top 10 revenue leagues globally. Uh, NRL doing really, really well. Um, and, and it's an incredibly competitive landscape with soccer slash football doing really, really well. And we saw that in the FIFA World Cup in 2023 last year. The women's game just went absolutely, um, you know, amazing numbers from uh, participation from people watching eyeballs and, and everything so um, Australia is a really interesting hotbed from our point of view for any sports tech or sports businesses that want to get exposure and really uh, cut their teeth and from our perspective as soon as we've, d we've done that we totally want to take the tech global as well so it's a really interesting hotbed to to really grind your teeth as, as far as sports and sports opportunity goes.